The Nespresso MBA Challenge. Sustainability to me means the world. It's something I grew up really passionate about, respecting the environment, recycling everything, just being conscious of who I am and what I'm doing to this planet. Hello, and welcome to our 2015 MBA Nespresso Challenge. I'm Spencer Gotipka, and I'm an MBA student here at California Lutheran University, studying the professional track of sustainability. The Nespresso MBA Challenge is about hope, conviction, and engagement with each other, with the planet, with the environment, with business. Our group, uh, four of us, are all coming with different experiences, different backgrounds, but we're all passionate about the environment and about sustainability. Each of us has a different day job. We don't get to see each other a whole lot. Uh, this is actually the first time I've met a, a number of the people on my team, but we're all pretty bright minds. We're all really passionate about the environment and what we can do to change it. The MBA Challenge specifically is a great chance for us to focus on a real world problem, to see what business can do to change it. With that, we're able to bring our own individual experiences, whether it be a love for being outdoors, to go biking or hiking, to go swimming, to merely be outside in a spiritual sense doing yoga, uh, you know, whatever it may be, we all have our own passions and we're able to bring our own experiences to come together and create a proposal of something that can really make a difference in this world. Sustainability really goes beyond you know, anything in myself personally. This is also about hope, so that hope for the future that we will continue to make the right decisions. And that includes businesses, and businesses are a big part of the sustainable movement. And I'm definitely dedicated to helping to find solutions for businesses that will enable them to continue to be prosperous, but at the same time, be very mindful of the decisions that they're making that are impacting the earth. My name is April Tucker, and I'm a yoga instructor actually at the senior master's level. And in my time of teaching my students, I feel that I really do incorporate a lot of what I believe in about sustainability and bring that to my practice and to my teachings. I think it's just really important for people to really view the world in a different way, that they have that awareness. That's really what the entire yoga process is about, is becoming aware. It's becoming aware of yourself and all of the things that make up who the person that you are, and also the things that you're putting into your body. And I'm also a chef, and so when I teach cooking classes, I do the same thing. I talk about the sustainability of the foods that they're eating. So these kind of things are really important, and I think just having that educational piece, I feel like that's really my calling, is giving that education, whether it's in my yoga, or if it's in my chef services, or even when I'm teaching in classes. Businesses impact sustainability it can make the biggest impact not only through the supply chain that they have, through their suppliers, they can impact their decision making and their requirements. They can impact the community that the business is settled in, and they can also impact their employees and they can be role models. There's hope in sustainability through education. It's going to give us hope for the future, and the earlier we start educating people and building an awareness, the more hope we're going to build for the future. I'm Susan Wood, and I'm a graduate program specialist at Cal Lutheran. And as my title suggests, I'm not uh, a leader necessarily in sustainability as part of my job role, but there's certainly a lot of things I can still do. Everybody has a choice in sustainability. Everyone has responsibility to take care of this earth. You can engage in your household by recycling as much as possible. You 
can engage by having compost in your backyard or even just educating your children by the choices that they make. When I did my undergraduate degree, I spent an academic year in East Africa and Kenya, and it was amazing to see the coffee plantations right there, and it really helped to hit home the importance of nature and resources and our use of resources and the impacts that we can have. And to see sustainable coffee farms in Kenya operating, you know, at that time of my life was just critical. It really set me in motion for the career path I chose. My name is Joni Burns. I live in Thousand Oaks, California, and I go to California Lutheran University. I'm in the MBA Sustainable Business Program. I'm living in these beautiful surroundings. I just see it every day, and I think that's what's important. That's what's important to individuals and businesses is to be aware of their surroundings, to be cognizant of the fact that all of these resources need to be here for future generations so that recreators like me can enjoy it on the bike and so that businesses have the resources they need to be viable and to move into the future. And so when I'm walking around campus and I see things like water savings programs or turn off the lights, it's that kind of awareness that really hits home that, is, you know, that seems so little, but all of those things cumulatively help to close the loop, help to connect the dots for people to say, I need to do this for this. I need to be able to help in protecting and preserving the environment because I'm using it and I'm impacting it and to the extent possible I want to have it positive. So that's what sustainability means. Well, as far as I'm concerned, business plays a huge role in sustainability. Uh, business, money is what makes the world go round, or so it's been for a long time now. And it can continue to make the world go round. Uh, companies need to continue to make a profit, but they can do so in a responsible way. That brings me to a couple of my really important topics, all starting with the letter R. So, we have recycling, reducing, reusing. It's all part of responsibility. Businesses play a huge role in being responsible for the environment. It's not necessary that you have to either make profits or be good for the environment. Nowadays, you can actually do both. One of the things that's great with Nespresso and a number of other companies is that they're really taking a deep look at how to reevaluate the supply chain, how to uh, make a positive difference in the world while also continuing to do business. We live in a beautiful world. I love being outside. The deepest connection I feel is when I get to be outdoors and I get to go on a hike. It's wonderful exercise. I feel really connected with the, with the earth and I get to feel the wind on my skin, I get to feel the sun, I get lots of vitamin D from it. It's just absolutely wonderful. The sense of creativity when you're outside, you get to be whoever you want to be, you get to really feel your own roots being set in the earth. As far as coffee culture goes, it's very important to me. Coffee is delicious, it's a great way to start the day, to, to just start whatever it is you're doing. Along with that, coffee culture is a great place to gather, it's a great social hour, uh, it's, it's something that you can go to work, you can go to school, you can meet someone out of the blue at a coffee shop, and uh, just be able to sit down, have a cup of joe, and connect. On the topic of coffee, wow, um, yeah, it's definitely a, an important part of my life. It is one of my vices, and um, as such, I do try really hard to make sure that whatever I am choosing to make that money that it is coming from a sustainable source. I like to know that my coffee is organically grown. I like to know that when I make that purchase, that part of that money is going towards farmers. I like to know that um, people are being supported in the ways that they should be in, in a fair world. Um, I really uh, am not uh, on the bandwagon of other types of coffees um, that are sort of uh, poofy, um, but I do like to make sure that I have uh, an idea of where the coffee source is coming from and that I can feel good about knowing that my purchase is making a difference to someone else's life. Can't live with them. <laughs> it definitely is in my life and it's one of the first things I think about when I wake up in the morning.
When I was a little girl, I used to love, my mom would sometimes give me a little bit of coffee with just a bunch of sugar and cream. And, you know, I think I started drinking coffee when I was literally about three years old. But growing up, you know, I started to drink coffee with my mom, and that was really important. I mean, I can't tell you how many important conversations we had over a cup of coffee. And now it's just, it's, it's part of my routine. You know, I get up in the morning, I have to have at least one or two cups, you know, before I really even start work. And then I'm one of those people that, you know, three, four in the afternoon, you know, absolutely, it's just, it's just something I kind of go for. Um, and then, you know, I grew up in a really cold part of the country in Minnesota, and there, you know, it was so cold, God, you had to have coffee. There was no way around, you know, having that warm cup of comfort. Um, so, I mean, I've just always kind of, it's always been there, and it will always be there for sure as part of, you know, the energy. Close the loop. One cup at a time.